All right, and moving on now, a rezoning battle in Houston County is creating tension between concerned parents and the Board of Education. 41 NBC's Taylor Terrell spoke with the superintendent and a father who's worried about the new changes and what the new zones will mean for his children. This map is what's rubbing a few concerned parents the wrong way. It's the 2014-2015 rezoning proposal for several schools in Houston County. After speaking with Superintendent Dr. Hines, he believes the changes will compensate for the county's growth in population. But one parent says it's going to hurt his kids socially and academically. We wish that everybody could be happy, but that can't be a goal of ours because it's impossible. We have to stick to our plan to populate those schools. The Houston County Board of Education's proposed rezoning plan calls for big changes, and that's upsetting father of two, Raymond Jones. It's concerning for us because it's really creating um, upheaval in our children's lives as far as moving them from one school to another when there is really no reason to do so. The board is pulling students from surrounding schools to populate a new school, Langston Road Elementary, a school that's paid for by penny sales tax dollars. Rezoning is certainly always a difficult task. Uh, you know, wherever a line is drawn, somebody's on one side of it or the other. Construction is underway for the new house and county school. Whether parents like it or not, Superintendent Dr. Hines says that in the fall semester, once those doors open, that building will be occupied with students. When did this plan originally start? It was with the last lost plan, so it's been probably three years ago that we knew that this was going to be in place. Did parents and teachers know that this was going to be in place at the same time that you guys knew? Yes, I mean, it was presented numerous times to all of the schools and through numerous civic organizations, media outlets, that this was going to be the plan. According to Jones, he didn't hear about the plan until a few months ago. We did not have a clue about this proposed rezoning until toward the end of last year. So, you know, around December, November, December time frame, 2013. So recently. Recently. One of many reasons Jones and other families aren't accepting the change. In less than 30 minutes, the Board of Education will host their work session at Perry High School. Johnson says he and other concerned parents plan on attending. 41 NBC will be at that meeting tonight and we'll have the latest for you on the news 40 at, on at 11.